Hi there, welcome. My name is Kelly Makbar. I'm the endorsed author of Cambridge IGCSE Physics Explained and at Excel International GCSE Physics Simplified. Guys, today we're going to look at an IGCSE Physics Cambridge question, paper six, variant one, October, November, 2016. And we're going to be looking at one of these long paper six questions where students in general, when they look at them, they kind of get frightened by the big blank spaces and all the lines and the fact that it's worth seven marks. So what I want to do today is basically guide you through this question step by step. So a student is investigating resistors connected in parallel. So quite clearly from the electricity and magnetism topic. The following apparatus is available to the student an ammeter, a voltmeter, power supply, variable resistor, switch, connecting leads, and a box of identical resistors. So it says, plan an experiment to investigate how the combined resistance of the resistors in parallel, sorry, of the resistors connected in parallel depends on the number of resistors. Okay. It says, you should draw a diagram of the circuit you could use to determine the resistance of resistors connected in parallel. It says show only two resistors in your diagram. Explain briefly how you would carry out this investigation and then draw a table or tables with column headings to show how you would display your readings. You are not required to enter any readings into the table. Now, for my students, this is in page 401 of your classified book. Now, as I've explained before in other videos, the best way to tackle this is to look at the bullet points that you're given and follow them one by one. Now here, you'll actually notice if you've done enough of these, there are fewer than some other papers. We've only got three to work with. So the first one is basically asking us to draw a diagram of resistors in parallel, and it's explicitly in brackets asked us to limit to two. So that's what we're going to do to begin with. Okay, so in this space right here, we are going to draw our circuit. Okay, so I've got my DC power supply. And guys, you should do this with a ruler for sure. I've got my ammeter. I've got one resistor. Okay, and I've got a variable resistor at the other side. Okay, and another resistor, two resistors in parallel, and then my voltmeter in parallel with one of the resistors. Now, what should you know here? First of all, we should know that the voltage in the parallel part of this circuit is going to be the same across each resistor, that the ammeter is measuring the current in the entire circuit, and the variable resistor is there to control the current. We've got a DC power supply, meaning if we look at conventional current, current goes from positive to negative. So if we look at the first bullet point, draw a diagram of the circuit you could use to determine the resistance of the resistors connected in parallel. So I've done that. Then it says, explain briefly how you would carry out the investigation. Okay. Now, when you watch enough of my videos, you're going to notice that my first sentence, my favorite sentence, instructions, set up the circuit, the circuit, as shown above. Now, the reason for this is, what's that saying? A picture paints a thousand words. Well, basically, by drawing the diagram and just saying set up the circuit showing above, as shown above, I take away a lot of description, take away a lot of writing by basically referring the examiner to the diagram. That's why it's nice and simple. Then, the description. So 
So experimental procedure. And what am I going to do? I'm going to record the voltage and current in a table. OK, I'm going to repeat the experiment. for three, four, five, I'm making up number six, seven, and eight resistors. I could have said that much easier, but basically, like I've said before, putting in numbers makes it much clearer in a student's mind of what's going on, and therefore might be helpful to you in your descriptions, okay? So what have I done? Explain briefly how I'm going to carry out the investigation. I've done that. I've drawn the diagram. And then last but not least, draw a table or tables with column headings to show how you would display your readings. So I'm going to now do that. So number of resistors in parallel. Voltage in volts, current in amps, and then we've got resistance in ohms. And again, I would totally encourage you to use a ruler. And remember, you are not required to put in any results at all. You can't. You've not actually done any experiment. And then underneath, Use R equals V over I to calculate resistance and then finally draw a graph of resistance against the number of resistors. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Once again, guys, I hope you're finding these videos useful. Thank you very much.